ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Modern Minecraft for Triax 2. Um, I know it's been a little bit, uh, just sort of fell out of the mood for Minecraft. Um, so, I, it's time to take my train for a ride. Um, uh, now, to be fair, I've actually done this once before, and it didn't record, so I'm redoing this. Accessing slash private. And done. Okay, so we are going to go ahead and put this ticket in there and we'll come back to this in a minute. I want to go ahead and build the um um immersive engineering blast furnace. I need some glaze powder. I know I cooked up a bunch of nether brick and regular bricks um blast blast Last bricks. Um, need these, which is, and then blaze powder in the middle. Oh, excuse me. Oh, blaze. I have. I think it's like four of these. That gives me what I need. Um, the rest of it, we should be able to. Oh, right. We can't. Cause you gotta do it like this. I think I may have made too much of this. Not that that's... Hello? Oh, I don't know what that's for. That's for ex oops, expressing uh, gases in the immersive engineer... Uh, not immersive engineering, engineer's toolbox. As you can... Why did I make steel fence? I don't know. Must have used it for... Oh, I made the... When I made the metal press, I think. That's what that's left over from. But as you can see, I've also made the steel plates necessary to... Um... Up upgrade this immediately to the improved blast furnace. Uh, not nah, you, you. Come here. Um, I feel, really should upgrade this to an octatic capacitor first, but um, okay, I can't count. Well, good job, me. Um, right. So, oops. One, two, three, four. Four. I think that's enough. Yeah, I'm certain that's enough. Um, is there anything that this does? No. Okay. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll put all this... Send this... Ah! I needed that. Oh, I got some of my first cherries from the uh, cherry trees over there. In the orchard. They're actually... Uh, I only need 26, 27 of these as plates, don't I? Plated. I think I've made 26 plates, haven't I? Oh, I made the full 27. Excellent. Um, yeah, I'm also going to need a hopper, which is... I'll make more blast bricks later. Make another blast furnace later. Um, yeah, a hopper. Not copper, hopper. Thank you. And sand. Um, oh, you know what? It's going to end up in the junk chest, which is not part, root, properly routed into the system. I know it isn't. Um, right. Thank you. I really should tweak this so that it's um, routed, but I haven't done it yet. Uh, right. Um, oh, that sounded like something. Yeah. I thought I heard. Okay. Um, Anyway, I'm prattling a little bit, or babbling a little bit. I'm sorry. It's a little bit late at night. It's like quarter after 11. Let me out the door. Thank you. Right. Um. Do I. Are you full? Um. Because that looks full. It's just kind of surprising. Um. Yes! This is, in fact, full. <laughs> um, right. Um, looks like I need a second tank. <laughs> I can do that. I'll do it off camera. Or rather, between episodes. However many years that may take. <laughs> no, I... Um, do I have a spot in here for that I can plug this in? I recognize that I didn't actually have to. Mm, I don't. Yes, I do. This is a 3x3. Three three. I can do this. Um, 
Oh, right, it needs to actually sit up on the ground. Because we'll need to access the front and the back of it. Um, yeah, like that. Um, we will have to move some stuff in order to get the preheaters in place, but that'll be alright. Uh, no, nope, you're not in there. You are in the immersive engineering bag. Or rather, my immersive backpack. There we go. Yeah, we'll have to put one preheater here and one preheater over there. But right now, we can use this as an additional blast furnace. And now, uh, the other things I have in my inventory are a basic hidden filter and eight speed upgrades and eight energy upgrades. I also have a button. So, what are we going to do with our button? Well, here's what we're going to do. We are going to hope that we aren't going to run into the processing train. And I think it's like F5. There we go. Yeah, it'll actually be just a moment, but what this should do is send us racing off to the processing area and then the small private sidetrack. Uh, yes, we're literally going to get sidetracked. I can actually set this up so that I can catch this train any, without any trouble if I want. A have, excuse me, a locking track here that push is set to boarding mode to push the train past this, and a locomotive track there set to shut down the locomotives. And I've tweaked the system a little bit. These are all running on a stack of charcoal, but I've tweaked the system to not give any train more than 10 blocks of charcoal and that's because I could simply was simply not able to keep up with the demands of supplying everything so one train would get lots of fuel and the next train in the to come in would get nothing because the train would then be and we are if I'm remembering correctly yeah we're running full speed and I also need to turn this off because essentially it was just draining my um, longsword and because we were running very quickly and so it was considering that we it thought we were um, running along at full speed so it was draining power out of my sword. It, you can see it's already drained, you can see down here that it's already drained my magnet. We, we, that's a processing train which is kind of a good sign. Now the reason we're headed this way is actually because there's no oxygen at the I forgot to bring, I was going to bring an oxygen, tank of oxygen. Uh, there's no oxygen at the processing area. Hopefully we'll see the fueling train come and racing this way. Yeah, quarry train's still shut down. I haven't moved the quarry over. It'll actually require some chunk loading to and more power cables than I have actually on hand. Um, right. So, the idea... Um, anyway, oxygen. The system consumes or works so fast with upgrades in the other machines that the um, electrolytic separator cannot produce oxygen quickly enough. Sweet, there goes the fueling train, which means we won't hit it in the back on the way um, to the processing area. Um, yeah, the electrolytic separator simply cannot keep up and I still don't have and have decided against actually doing uh, mechanism generators because if I had mechanism generators it would be a simple matter of going in and Ooh. Ooh. excuse me sorry a uh, simple matter of going in and grabbing the um, hydrogen coming out of the other side of the separator and just b basically dumping it into a gas burning generator so it would produce a constant um, power loop and it will be self-sustaining but I don't know it's I prefer to bring the power in by train and I still haven't gotten any further along in setting this up I'm, I'm waiting on steel and steel takes time, which is why I set up the, wanted to set up the immersive engineering blast furnace, which of course is turning up here trouble because I require my powertrain 
to take power to the Railcraft house and my new home. Or my new house, anyway. And, or not the Railcraft house, the Railcraft workshop. Of course, a train to take power there, and that's supposed to come from the uh, station, the power station there, which doesn't have, which needs steel before it can, it, yeah, so it's sort of a, I have to have this thing so I can have this thing to have the thing, sort of situation. Um, so right now we're using the Railcraft Blast Furnace instead. Uh, technically the immersive engineering one works just fine without power, but accelerating it with the preheaters makes life a whole lot easier. As long as, an, as long as you don't hit the back of the fueling train, this isn't actually a terribly long railway. Uh, no, I don't... I'm pretty sure that you don't actually get any speed bonus from being pulled by multiple locomotives. It, it just looks cool, especially having three red trains, because we're the high, we, because we have a high-speed private express. The other thing I need to set up is actually the sandstone and the button and set that up so that when I press the button it launches the entire train and I'm hoping it's actually a long enough signal to excuse me send the entire train presuming of course the train does not immediately have excuse me have to um, I'll have to stop and send the train in another direction because it did not listen to the signaling the way it was supposed to. Oh, I still mean to take that area and set it up to look like a little stone quarry. It like it's mining quarried stone, but uh, I haven't gotten around to it yet. And here we go. We're going to stop and uh, rewater and refuel. Now if we've done this right, we should end up with exactly ten blocks in each of these three locomotives. Hopefully it works. This, that may actually be too close to the... Oh sweet, it's not. Excellent. Uh, I was wondering if that little jog there was going to be too close and cause the... Because the, the spacing isn't right. If you're too close to a corner, it'll ca sometimes cause the locomotive to turn round. Yep, okay, it worked perfectly, actually. I'm, I'm honestly quite surprised. Um, yeah, it'll cause... The one of the locomotives to turn around and then you... Uh, it doesn't matter so much for this... Bleh, this train. Because I've got two pusher... Because I'd still have two... Two of them trying to go forward and two of them will overpower the... One trying to go backwards, no matter how fast it's trying to go. Um, but for the processing train or the fueling train... That's a little bit more of a concern. The, fu the fueling train actually only... Um, Gets it gets its fuel from the return on the return line there. Although it gets also gets fueled up at the actual base. Um, I really need to m m tweak it so that um, as its fuel is coming, fuel comes in, it comes to everything. It goes to the new station rather than um, shunting through the old one. But I also need to set it up so that the Processing and quarry trains can properly unload at their stations rather than going through the where, going straight through the warehouse. But for right now, we'll I can deal with it. And since the quarry train's not running, it's not a, not any kind of issue. I have considered installing extra utilities so that we can um, have compressed cobblestone. But I, I don't know. Extra utility seems to be the it's a good solution, but it's, at the same time, it's still the okay. I, this is this is too easy, so too easy of a solution. So, um, if anybody else has any thoughts on the matter, please let me know. I'm happy to take suggestions. Honestly, I'm happy to happy to know people are actually watching my series. Um, and like I said, I know it's been a little bit, little bit, but I just sort of was not in the. Oops was not in the mood for uh, Minecraft, and it just, I don't know, I, I really enjoy playing Minecraft, but sometimes it's just, okay, I don't want to, haha, silly spider, um, yes, 
sometimes it's a case of I just don't feel like playing Minecraft. It's not any, any, any reason other than the fact that I don't just don't feel like Minecrafting. Um, let's see what else. I can't remember anything else I've done off camera. Yeah, and like I said, it's been quite a while since I actually recorded anything of any of the Minecraft episodes. So I like that little switch back there. Now, hopefully, I'm you know, sitting on the. Excellent. Okay, so we're now set up here. Um, there we go. So I need to work out which track is the. There it is. We need to put you down. You go there, and then this goes here. Now the whole train's sitting idle because we're basically. Uh, can I even reach that? Ah, I can't reach that. Um, okay, well, we'll deal with that in a minute. Um, however, this is the electrolytic separator. We go and we throw our eight speed upgrades in here. And you can see this is two times, four times, eight times, 16. Wow, this is uh, not at all a. Uh, yeah, 256 times effectiveness, right? Well, let's see how much how our energy upgrades do. And it's very quickly decreasing increasing the amount it can store and decreasing the amount that it's going to use in the um, process of separating hydrogen and oxygen. Ten times as effective, huh? Or ten times the storage, ten times the uh, I'm not sure what else this needs to encourage its growth. It, we've got nutrient water and super algae, and when super algae grows, it produces, I think, about 3,000 power. Once it's photosynthesized and dumped into this generator. Uh, here, have some power. We'll just discharge our pickaxe, which will be slowly filling this, which will in turn get this filling. And yeah, we're now producing iron. Oh, speaking of which. Let's take this and put it in here. I already pre-filled it with um, two different types of copper ore, and it's matching metadata, but that shouldn't be an it shouldn't be an issue. Um, have you gone out of power yet? No. Okay. And you are smelting, and you are. You know what? I'm going to take. No, give me the copper back. Thank you. Okay, stop auto splitting. Give me the copper. There, now we can get some iron going, and I'll take this all home with me. And, um, right, so let us push this button. Does that catch the whole, yes, it catches the whole train. Um, I, nope, 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 can't go without my pickaxe. Um, hello, no pickaxe. Right, um, of course I'm running at full speed in a desert, which is not exactly healthy. Um, yeah, I gotta go catch my train. <laughs> um, tell you what, I will be right back with you guys when, okay, as soon as I get back. Home. I'm just getting ready to throw a lot of iron into the metal press to be pressed into plates so I can build a second um, water tank at the uh, Rail Warcraft workshop. Um, I need a pump, or maybe two pumps technically, but uh, one, one pump should be enough for now. I, the reason I want the pump. Do I have any of that stuff on me? No, I do not. Okay. Um, this is plates and ingots. I can. How many does that make? Eight. Uh, I can do that. Um, let me have some more iron. Um, Sixteen. You can hear the. Excuse me. You can hear the um, elite smelting factory going up there. Uh, oh right, I have the X on here. Um, just I stop saying um. You sound like an idiot. Uh, yeah, that's not helping. Uh, basically, uh, this will be pretty simple, and that the iron will turn off eventually. Uh, anyway, I'm gonna make the pump and some t uh, piping, and I don't, 
I have a shovel. Don't I? Yes, I do. I, okay, I do not need you here. You go in there. You can come out. You can come out, and I need four of you. So and the rest, of, as for the rest of you, no. Where's my shovel? rest of you, go away. Alright, so, shovel. Ah. Dude, I forget how stupidly fast my shovel is. Uh, let's see. So we want a couple of... Uh, one, two... Yeah, that'll actually work for separation. Oops. Not you. Here. Be axed. Um, there you go. So, this... Oh, and I need this back, actually. I was wrong. Say, oh, never mind, I did pull them out. I'm just not paying attention. Um, right, this takes 34 of these in this formation, and if you have the correct number, it's easy to work out because the center is hollow, and you should have just the right number to not have to worry about how tall is it. Let's see. And you. And give it a whack. Okay. Now, what we're going to do is actually build a immersive engineering pump because that will give us... I need an iron mechanical component. Oh, I guess I do. No. Can I make... I can, in fact, make mechanical components. Need one of those. Uh, what else does this require? Oh, more iron. Surprise, surprise. Surprise, surprise, I mean. Uh, one, two, three. Let's see. So you guys go in there. And then we'll make some iron pipe. Um, I can actually use the extended logistics system just a little bit to be able to request creosote from the second tank, which is fine. I just don't want to have to fiddle with it to make it inject into the second tank as well. So what I'm going to do is pump out of the first tank and into the, the second one. Alright, so... And come over here, we'll get ourselves some... Not that pump. I need some fluid pipe. Thank you. Need one of the... Where's my... Iron. How many of those did I request? Apparently too few, too many. Oh, because I requested three. I'm a genius is what I am. Yep, because if I check the... Where if I, if I, yep. Complete genius. Iron. Yep. Give me one, two, three of those. Thank you very much. Unfortunately, those will come straight away on the next uh, cart load. So I'll put one, one of those, one of that, and then I don't have any place to store those on the network. You know what? We'll make pump, and then I'll walk over, go and. Right. Fun thing about the first engineering. Uh, I'll do the, do this. First, before I forget, um, right, stop it. Uh, where's an empty space somewhere? Right there. That'll work. All right. So now that's permanent home for iron mechanical components. I don't even remember what it was. It was oh, I think I set up uh, the both light and heavy engineering blocks to be auto craftable. I tell you what, that golem tree farm is actually continually going berserk, and I'm hilariously pleased at that. Oh, I'm, I want to be out here anyway. Um, so, how do you use this pump? Well, it's just a funny thing about the pump. The bottom is pre-configured as an input, and as it turns out, um, I need to, I guess I need to just break it. I could probably hit it with a wrench, but I just didn't think about that. Um, alright, so, now I should be able not that. I should be able to click the correct block on here. And then 
I don't believe she, don't know if you can extract from the top, although I know the bottom will auto output. And one more. And you should be, if I've done this correctly. Um, where's my manual? Right, uh, manual. That's you. No, stop. Thank you. Uh, heavy machinery. Tools and simple machines. Why is the fluid? No. Fluid transport, thank you very much. Uh-huh. Right click it with a bit of this hinge. Okay. Alright. Uh, three essential functions. Inserting the pipes at high speed, transfer fluids much faster, or pick up fluids from the world. Okay, that's useful. Uh, uh, power input at the top. Aha! I need a redstone signal. Uh, I can do that. I need... Okay, you and you go away, and you... Technically that should be for the pipe, something for the pipe bag, but... It's an immersive engineering... Up... I need levers. Levers are over here, eventually. Right. Let's get over here. Uh, do I have any levers? No. What some sticks? Tell you what. Give me a stack of sticks and a stack of cobble, and I will just go ahead and make a full stack of levers. Oh, I can also put this in here, and this can go in here. I just had a conversation with, uh, well, I messaged um, Tinfoil Chef, who's an awesome YouTuber if you haven't checked him out, and we was asking him, because he's got custom sounds for, a uh, custom texture pack and custom sounds, because apparently he really liked the early days of the Minecraft textures and that, and beta 1.7.3 sounds for on hit on death and chest opening I gotta admit I I agree with him about all of those but I just found it kind of interesting because I was wondering what the where that noise had come from and he also used it as uses it in his seven days to die um, let's play which is kind of kind of surprisingly awesome I'm not normally a zombie game type of person now, is this working is the question. How do we check that? Bucket. Right. You are... Totally not moving. Good job, me. Um, it shouldn't need power to pump from tank to tank. Alright. So apparently, the trouble would be that... Oops. It can't actually get close enough to the bottom. Um, hmm. If I will you um, connect and auto suck, I know some types, some pipes will suck, some pipes will not suck. No, this doesn't seem to be sucking correctly. Uh, right. Um, input output. I O, I O, I O. It's off to work. I go. I O, I O. Um, stop it. I need two of those. Thank you. So there and there. And if I redstone signal you, are are you capable of extracting? No, you are not capable of extracting. Um, that's irritating. Hmm. Alright, let me... Oops. I think that also, um, or dictionary the fluid into the immersive engineering creo, so... Which is not really necessarily a bad thing, and actually doesn't matter as far as I know. They both seem to work equally well. Uh, hmm. This is awkward. 
uh, do I require for it? Uh, RF power is the th is the is the question in my mind. And the answer is I haven't the foggiest notion. Uh, hmm. I don't have a s power cell, do I? Uh, no, I don't. Uh, sort of thing I should have on me, but I naturally I donated it to the processing facility to give it a buffer, let the tra and let the train get through faster. Um, hmm. What are my options? Cube. Uh, do this, but that's a little expensive. And I don't actually have the stuff I need. Uh, capacitor. Basic capacitor. I can do a basic capacitor. Uh, right. Give me four of those. It's uh, no. Hang on. Let's do iron first. Give me four iron and give me one block of redstone. There we go. Since all that turns up, we'll make ourselves one capacitor. It will fill up with energy because wireless chargers are the best thing ever. And then we will. Um, now there's there's also down here the. Uh, LB capacitor in a boxes and then reverse engineering capacitors. Oh, didn't get the redstone block, so we'll be here for just a minute more. Um, yeah, I know we're going. Yes, first episode in a while, and we're actually going over time. I, it's all right. Um, yep, there's our redstone, and poof, one basic capacitor. I'll let you sit and charge up for a bit. All right, that should be enough. So, hopefully this works. Right, you should go here. Uh huh. You should have power. Now, do we? Are we moving fluid? We are not moving fluid because, because, um. Well, that's extremely irritating. Um, can we? Yeah. All right. Hmm. Oh wait. You know what? I think I'm not as smart as I think I am. All right. Let's put this here. And can I use a pickaxe to break that? Thank you very much. If I take a, oops. Um. That's a fluid tip. It's not the tank I want. I want one of these. One of these. And some. I have one pressurized fluid conduit. Okay, hopefully this works. I know you can feed water into this. Okay. Alright, you go here. You come here. Because I need you. Where's my wrench? There it is. Right. Okay, you, you, you. There we go. Um, t uh, tank. Here. You know what? Actually, before we decide to manually extract everything. Oh, right, because we can. Alright, so now if we run piping here and. you and like that now if we give it a redstone signal will it auto suck out of yeah. yes okay so this works now can we extract from here and we can yes so this will act as a buffer and then this will suck fluid and f slowly fill this with well not that slowly actually we can pretty quickly fill that Excellent. So now this is a closed loop system, and I can. You are a fluid thingy, a fluid provider. You're a fluid supplier. All right. So I'll basically run 
pipe being over here over here and allow it to also extract from this. Excellent. That works. It's a little kludgy, but that works. Uh, he, it was actually changed in 110, I believe, to fix that. Alright, uh, so this has been modded f Minecraft with Trix 2. I will see you guys next time. Bye.